Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to Slice and Dice, the dice-based strategy roguelike that I'm very excited to be back to here today. In, we are gonna go on hard mode. We choose a curse, you say. Uh, all tiny enemies, such as archers, get plus two pips to all sides. That is definitely scary. Uh, early curses, before fights one through four, choose a tier one curse. But then, like, it's not going to be a problem after that? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. You cannot lock more than one dice at a time. <laughs> Sounds so bad. All monsters have on hit damage the attacker for one. I'm going to go for the small bonuses. As spooky as that's going to be. And boy, it is spooky. Uh, so, we do have a couple different starting classes now, it seems. Uh, we've got the Lost... One damage, cruel, two damage, cruel. So this does double damage if they're at half or less. We also have the ranged poison attack. Uh, we have the lazy, who has a lot of empty die faces. And then two really good ones. The buckle has shield, damage the highest health. And then four shield pristine does eight, blocks eight if I have full health. No, it's normally two and it does, okay, gotcha. We also have a healer who has health and also the ability to give us some mana, which is a feature we didn't use in the last episode, but we do now have. Uh, right down here, we've got some spells. We need mana to cast it, and they do various things. Different characters give us different spells. Gather comes from the initiate. Uh, mend comes from the healer. And then burst is just there, uh, no matter what. So this all being said, I do think... Locking the range attack for the archers seems like a great call. Uh, what does the initiate have that's better? Cantrip mana, so we can just get it just by rolling it. Growth mana, I mean, I feel like we might as well roll you, right? Uh, Alright, so cantrip mana, we could even take it and get a guaranteed other mana. Works for me. Don't need to heal, nobody's missing any health. Great. Uh, tutorial, cast a spell. I would like to. We cannot burst the back line set a hero's hp to five so that can increase your health replace blank sides with plus two mana this turn not much of a reason to do that when we only have one blank side but hey it's good to know i think i will go ahead and block here go for a ranged attack Sure. Nothing to really do with the heal. I don't know if I want to burst. We can save up two mana and it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do that. Because we can set somebody to five HP this turn. It could end up being really good. Alright, so heal does have validity now. So does shield. Highest HP target takes two damage. I feel like that's completely okay with me. I don't know if I'm getting somebody below half health there, but okay. I took a little bit of a risk there. So we'll go for boom. Burst, you are under half. This is going to end up mattering. Great, perfect. Shielding, of course. The heal could go on anybody because we're going to be completely fine at the end of this uh, phase right here. Bye-bye. Ooh. Okay, so we can get the Caldera, or the Priestess. Heal and gain a mana. Heal four and give them four empty max HP. Heal one to all allies. The spell turns into Prey. Heal and shield one to all dying allies. Ooh. Costs one extra mana every time it is cast. Caldera, damage and mana gain. Mana gain... 3 damage, cruel, single use. So this could potentially do 6 damage to an enemy under half health. It's going to be good for, like, bosses, basically. And then your spell is 2 damage to all undamaged enemies. That's actually pretty interesting. I gotta go with the Priestess, though. I know, Priestess. But it's just fun to say. Alright, screw me. Uh, I feel like it's a good one. I feel like it's a really, really good one. Lock that bad boy. I feel like I'm down to lock the cruel one there. 
We don't have the mana for gather. Otherwise, this would actually be kind of interesting. There's no guarantee we're going to get it either. Oh, come on. We have so many, so many empties. Okay, four shield block works for me. I don't think I need to do that. You know what? Sure. We'll give you all that health. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Maybe I should actually do an attack. Uh, kill the rat next turn. Because he's a small unit. We we want the small units gone more. Uh, more often. Heal and a mana. I kind of like that. It's probably going to be the best thing you can do right here. Eh, not quite. We could, we could save you. You're planning to do three damage. If I kill the rats, uh, you live. Okay, that's already good. This is one mana and it has growth so that every time we, um, every time we use it, it gets one more. Ooh. I think I'm just going to accept that and not risk. Dude, have you ever done anything? What, are you lazy or something? <laughs> all right. We'll get all that mana. We'll give you a little bit of shield. We'll kill the stinking rat. Uh, so everything is fine. Do I want to burst somebody? It doesn't really feel like it makes a whole lot of sense. Alright. Okay. You can see the break right there. That means that's going to go away. I'm going to risk another, like, cantrip or possibly, like, the growth. This guy runs away if we, um... You're obviously the one that's most likely to die. This guy runs away. If this guy up here dies, we'll go for the spell. Bada bing, bada boom. Healing wand. Replace the rightmost side with heal for single use. There's a lot of reasons why that could be good. We have a handful of, of, of empties, frankly. And that's already useful. Or get a random tier zero or two item. Interesting. I think I'll go with this. There's, there's nothing actively wrong with it. Oh boy. No reason to heal right away. That is 100% for sure. Okay, good. We got the three damage smacking. I kind of want to try and kill two rats. You're doing five, so I could save you. This is already okay. It's a little much. This heal is mostly just for the mana. Uh, but we can go for, obviously... Whoop, that's a save. That's a save as well. We can go for a burst. Who do we want to heal up more? Uh, get the top rat out of the way. Sure. Okay, saved. Next. It's one thing about uh, Slice and Dice that's always been something I really liked. Okay, so obviously you don't need to... This is dodge all damage and enemy effects this turn. It's going to be completely irrelevant. Ooh. Are you really not going to get anything else? Come on. God, I can't wait to level up these stinkers. All right. But we're working on it. Kill the rat. Believe it or not, the lazy is very lazy. Oh, there we, that is a turn. That's got to that's a turn. That's got to be good enough. Uh, we can go ahead and burst do the three damage. You're not going to be under half though, as a result. Um, which is a little bit weird. This guy has the uh, the pip that needs to be removed individually. That's okay. As long as we have two sources of damage next time. All right, he's gonna run. Perfect. Uh, we would have been fine. The ninja. I don't remember this. One damage copycat. Copy keywords from the previous dice this turn. Two damage double use. And the dodge all. Oh, God. It's a boring one, but the soldier upgrade from the lazy sounds so nice right now. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for the ninja. It's not super familiar to me. I don't think we use it a lot. If it's, if it's not new... Been, it's been a bit, so forgive me. Uh, ironically, this is going to end up being 
one of our easier ones. I'm happy to take a mana thing. Cool. All right. Uh, getting the big boy out of the way sounds really nice. We don't need to burst. Because that mana is getting saved. Like, why, why burst now when we can just burst next turn? Love that. Copy keywords from the previous used dice. I guess like growth is interesting. Not the it's not the best. What about vitality? Grants the target for Does that work? <laughs> oh god, does that work? It probably does. Absolute sicko. Alright, uh we are already saving somebody. The heal's not going to do that much. Oh, wow. Lucky duck. Okay. I'm curious. This is for science. We're going to undo this. It totally does give them more HP. Uh, by the same token, this should grow. Turns into a two. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit slow. <laughs> it's a bit slow. Not really the thing that I would uh, rely on or go for. Is it what? Shift one? Control one? God, what is it for the spell? Q? Q. Burst. There we go. Mama Wolf is gone and done and out of the way. Uh Oh, that getting cantrip is... is weird. Pristine times two if you have full health. I would rather get like a, a heal deal there. There we go. We can do more damage with it is basically the whole thing. There we go. We got our cantrip. All right. Heal you up. Some more mana. Same deal. Just go for the blast. We can just blast you again and get you out of the way. It does prevent damage, so there is a reason to do it now instead of later. Okay. Already got some mana. I feel like, yeah, we're, we're definitely lacking... Um... Okay, good. I mean, doesn't matter. We would have been fine to just go for this. We could have, like, burst. We could also use it to shield, see? All right. Terrarium. Replace the two right sides with shield two growth and one mana growth. Rejuvenation wand. <laughs> Replace the top and bottom sides with heal ten single use. You could just be full on a heal bot. Uh, terrarium's kind of nice for, for the lazy or the buckle. I think that that solves a couple issues there. We'll put it on you and then give somebody else the heal. How about the buckle? Yeah, that works. That works for me. All right, snake and slimer. We gotta be careful because the slime that it gets summoned from the slimer uh, is scarier than the summon from the snake. No, uh, I wish. I wish that worked. Okay. Copycat. What would I copycat here? We could get. We could do like a mana gain copycat. There's something about that, but I, I don't. I don't think I need to do that right now. All right, I like all those. The ninja's not being attacked, so we don't need to worry there. I was gambling, believe it or not. In the dice game, I did a gamble. So we don't really want to be long-term gambling here, though. Like we, we need to get some damage out. That was a zero damage round. We're, we're lacking. We're lacking in the damage department for sure. Uh, that's gonna be helpful. Mana growth, I'll just take it. We can use that as damage. At this point, just sure. Take that too. I'll go for the snake, just because we can kill. Which sounds lovely right now. The initiate still has uh, poison. And thus, we gotta, we gotta keep it in mind. Even though, like, somebody else was at lower health technically. There's the growth that could definitely uh, come into play. 
Uh, if we summon a Slimer, I don't think that it, or summon a Slimelet, I don't think it immediately becomes a problem. But I'm just going to say, don't mess here. Boop, boop, boop. Don't mess with it when we could just go ahead and uh, keep everybody alive. Pray, gather. We'll wait until next turn. We can't kill the Slimer, so we might as well wait until we figure out uh, the exact specifics of next turn. Heal one to all allies. It's not a keyword. We're just looking for damage, because honestly, that's just... Okay, we, we're, we're more than good enough. Look at all that mana. Woo! Okay. The lazy is tempting to upgrade. Cleric. Single-use mana. Shield 2 and cleanse. So that could help us get rid of poisons. Uh, shield 3. Heal 3. This also gives us a spell. Shield 1, cleanse, cleave, single cast. I actually really like that. That gives us a new spell, too, yeah. I feel like as, as annoying as the lazy is, we at least have... We, we have some stuff for him now. Okay, so this has cantrip. Okay. Okay. I feel like three damage, yeah, I think that's going to be good to, for right now. We could just block all of this. Sure. Instead of risking it. Boom. None of that damage is doing nothing now. Just not a thing anymore. Shield one, cleanse, cleave. So in an AoE of three, we shield for one, remove one status effect. But that can only be done once. This should be a blank side, but it is used. Yeah, it's a used blank side. Mm. I know that we could wait and kill the goblin, but I think this is good. Which means we should have re-rolled the ninja if we knew we were going to do that, but hey. It's all right with me. We can do better, man. We, in fact, cannot do better, man. We can take both of these. I do wonder. That should count. They don't, it only becomes that for this turn, for what it's worth. So we do know that. Use it or lose it on that one. We gotta get some damage. We gotta get some more reliable stuff. Alright. Uh, hmm. Those are not the best things we could get here. Uh oh. We could basically turn this into one mana each. Is what we could do with that. Which is not the worst considering... But I just feel like I could do better. Uh, the answer is barely. There we go. Saved. Get the can trip. Uh, go for the growth. Pop ya. Bare minimum, we're attacking once there. I don't think we want to waste anything else. All right. Incoming yikes. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. All right, finally, we got some, uh, we got some juice, though. Boy, we got some juice. I feel like that's just good enough. Don't chance it. Whoop. Good old heal. So you are going to get stunned this turn. Uh, in that case... Let's just not worry about that. How about, how about that? That seems... A little bit better. Bye-bye. Irrelevant, regardless. Replace the middle side with heal three cleanse. Replace 
All blank sides with one damage, double use. Yeah, I think that that's uh, very workable. There we go. This is not incredible, but like, the nice thing about it is you can do one damage, spread the one damage. It's really good against the slate, where all of his health has to be removed individually. Uh, that becomes, frankly, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab that. So, mana growth, I think, is okay as well. Ninja does not really need to be the one to dodge a whole bunch here. Sure. Is that the best you got? It is, in fact, the best you've got. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the lazy's the one probably most concerned here. So I kind of want to go for a one, two. Save the lazy. Save the initiate. All right. And then there's no point to heal. But why would I heal here? Save up our mana. We kill the slate, the goblin runs. Which... Again, shouldn't be too particularly difficult to do. I think I should be able to... Uh, really? I mean, we'll risk it if we have to use our mana. Okay, good. If we have to use our mana in a way that's... We could also technically... Um, this is kind of fun. Give that double use. I'm liking the ninja. All right, Collector, two damage, growth. One damage, duplicate. Copy this onto all allied sides this turn. One damage, cleave. One damage, focus. Two times versus the target of the previous dice. Versus the target of the previous dice this turn. Obviously, that's useful. Seer's got uh, some logical value. Just a single use. Mana, growth mana, three mana. One damage, poison. Single use. It's definitely useful as well. Your spell is foretell. Four mana next turn. Okay. Spend three mana this turn to get four mana next turn. You could also roll a random because... You know what? I'll take the collector because it goes pretty interestingly with the ninja. Does leave me in a weird spot here. We've, co we've covered all the empties, but should we be doing that this way? I'm not entirely sure. Not convinced. Definitely want that, so... Times two versus the target of the previous dice this turn. I wouldn't mind grabbing the double trouble there. The growth mana, absolutely. The heal, absolutely not. Oh, music going away. I feel like we can do better. Duplicate, copy this onto all allied sides. We don't really want to do that. We'd like the cleave. The double use is fine. We can save you. It's not my favorite, though. Oh, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be like that, huh? Uh, save yourself, for the love of God. Um, so you're doing two damage to the middle enemy. You're the one who does high single target damage. You do AoE and summons. Do damage to the topmost enemy when we get you to the half point. I feel like you're the one that we want to go. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Not great. Not great. We'd love to cleanse the, uh, the priestess here. They nerfed all of their, uh, their dice... Oh, God. Copy the zero damage attack to all... Oh, my God! All right. Uh, question. 
Let's go for a boop. Mix with a boop. Heal all still is nice. Sides with value not be used. Interesting. Yeah, makes sense. Is there anything else we want to... That sucks, because we couldn't copy that for the AoE cleave. That'd be really appealing. Do the shield one cleanse. I don't hate that, but I do wonder if we're going to be able to, like, do something better with it next turn. You do the poison. Do the weakened cleave. I, I feel like I'd rather get you... Get you got. We'll save our healing cleave. We might get attempted to be poisoned again. We are. Okay, so the focus is an idea. The heal and the mana is an idea. You are attacking the ninja, huh? All right. That's not great. There's obviously one thing that'd be really good to have there. Oh, God. This is awkward. We could actually save everybody in this way, which I think is maybe going to be more useful than anything else. All right. Um, sure. You damage the middle enemy, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay. I think... I think let's go ahead and kill you. I think that's the, the correct call here. We don't need to worry about saving up our, uh, or using our mana now. Not a, not a problem. Not a problem at all. I don't know if I care about the copy. Mm. That could save, right? That, that, that can save the cleric. Otherwise, we don't currently have the save for the cleric. Okay. This damages the middle enemy? Sure do. For how much? Two damage. We don't have quite enough otherwise. Is it worth it? Meh. Doesn't really matter. It's basically kill kill then or kill now. Or maybe, you know, maybe not. Let's grab all damage. All damage, all mana. I'm just gonna grab this because I'm scared at this point. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we, we do have the double. We're good. We have the, the double up there, too. Uh, hissing ring. Replace the middle side with two damage poison. Learn invest six mana in the future. Once can only be cast once each turn. It's obviously fantastic, but I really like the idea of the hissing ring. Uh, I wish this could be copied onto all sides. That'd be very fun. I feel like until I get something that would like upgrade this to be better, I am going to just change that to the old poison. All right. The skeletons are going to be terrifying. I always want to get them out of the way, like, first, uh, but now I really, really do. So we can stun you. If we do two AoEs, we could stun you. Which I do like. Come on, man. Ah, not what I'm looking for. The good news is... We, we need to get you out of the way. So there's the stun. So there's not going to be anything showing up. Bonk, bonk. What? We get the mana. We don't need to save anybody, but that was a little bit tight. A little bit tighter than I'd like. If we put five plus shields on the collector, that guy runs away, which would be nice. But uh, a cleave could help us get where we need to go as well. The ninja dodging everything is pretty good too. AoE heal is fine. That's better. All right, cool. All right, we'll just do a good old cleave. You dodge everything. Just, it's all irrelevant. K 
can attack the back line. Should I bone blast? If I bone blast, I could like go and reroll this. That's the thing. We need to we need to think a slightly further ahead there. Cause if I'm bone blasting. Oof. Wolf. He got away with it. Uh Death Wish, you're one of the only ones that's not dying, my friend. Cool. do better. I'm looking for, like, the cleave or something. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and do that first. Not that it's gonna save us. Man, that's unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate extreme amount of damage and I just never rolled my AoE. Mm. Interesting. So we're going to probably take an L on somebody here. I think it makes the most sense for it to be the cleric at this point. Would I rather use growth? Maybe? Don't really want to give them vitality. This is just all unfortunate. Do a whopping extra damage there. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We do have our single use, so hold on. This is going to be the cleanse. That's probably the time to use it, right? I think it I think it has to be. All right. Jiminy, we kill this uh this skeleton, he does do one damage in a cleave. So, this is a lot less scary than it looks. Uh four damage attack is also kind of nice. Uh, I think we're we're already good. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. These are all good. Uh going to go ahead and blast you. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I mean, I guess sure. We'll, we'll do it that way. Get the growth. Not that it really is going to end up mattering. All good. What is this one again? Growth. Two damage growth. Why does it look different than the other? I don't know. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Spocky. Okay, we got an evoker. Four damage to the topmost enemy. Zero damage charged. Does an extra damage for every stored mana. Kill an enemy with exactly two HP once a turn. I'm leaning towards the evoker. It also gives me a pretty good... I mean, I was going to say, it could give me a pretty good replacement for this. But... I don't I don't mind this. It's just a... It's a better spell, I would say. Especially against the imps that do reflection damage. Yeah, uh, us being kind of more of a multi-strike lad, uh, we're going to have a little bit of a hard time there. Okay, growth. Uh, yeah. yeah. There we go. That's, that's solved some stuff. Jesus. We'll bonk ya. Conk ya. Do we need to have as much on you then? Not at all. That works for me. Alright. I think that's better than the going for the drop. It is going to be three mana for that. Two damage in the shield. Definitely getting the extra max HP is going to be a useful thing. Cleansing is good. I do intend to kill this imp, though, so it's not a crazy big deal. 
Damage and a shield is what we would get out of that. Sure. Alright. Uh, bonk. Nothing to, to even cleanse there, but... Cool. That gets applied in the generous way, which is really, really helpful. I would love the freaking poison or something, man. Please. I mean, the growth works. Nothing wrong with the growth. But I gotta think, like, like I don't have to think long-term of this fight, but I'm gonna go for the mana gain instead. Drop an anvil on him, which is so funny to me every time. Drop another anvil on him. Cool. Unlock a... Unlock a mode, choose a party. Two extra max HP this fight whenever I save a hero. I don't know. Three max HP, six empty max HP. That That is usable on, like, anybody, basically. You really only have five health? God, there's a lot of small enemies in this fight. That's not good. We do not like to see lots of small enemies. Shield and the cleanse. It, has this ever rolled the poison attack once? Like, I don't... I just don't think it has. How about now? Okay, the cleave is good. Is it gonna solve anything for us? No. Okay, I just don't want to take that. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Become immune to damage this turn. I'm going to go for the attacks down here. He gets rid of the immunity this turn. So we don't have to deal with it as much later. Uh, we can always drop an anvil on the top... The top skeleton. Thank you. Finally. If I die if I take four more damage in a single attack. Uh... I mean, we could try and do that. How do we do this? We generate mana. Oh, I don't know. I do like the idea of dropping the anvil. I wanted to drop two anvils. Obviously, that would be the ideal. Uh, but we can't use this to generate mana because this just gains single use. It doesn't gain give us mana. Uh, so there's that to think about. So instead of the anvil action, I actually think it's better for us to do like a little bit of that. So we can, we can solve this, right? Skellington is dying. We do this. We go for the burst to heal that way. It's tight. It's tight, but it should be fine. Can I find a way to do four damage in a single attack? I don't know with this setup. The four heal could be useful. You're doing two damage to all of these. Like, the issue is the... Um, the heal. We could go for the cleanse. I think this is where we use light. Uh, that That is like a for sure thing. I think we use prey. Cool. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, it could just get rid of the ghost. I think that that's actually a good call. Alright, we're good to go. It was a little bit tighter than I would have liked. Finally! We can finally copy the poison. That's what I've been wanting to do. We don't really need to worry about anything else because the anvil just solves it. <laughs> Alright, stoic. Two damage and a self-shield. Stun equal... Stun an enemy with equal or less HP than me. 
Redirect all damage and enemy attacks from an ally to me and self-shield. I like that. Which heal three and a cleave, heal one and boost their pips. Heal five and a cleanse. Lovely. One damage and a weaken. So they're, whatever they're doing gets lowered. Salve, heal two. The witch is so good. The witch is so good, but the stoic does solve like a unique problem that I have. And you are such a good recipient of uh, the booze that way. Because you can just... You can tank everybody, and it makes actual sense this time. Alright, I think... I don't... I've not been using these. Is that a flaw with me, or a, a justification for being able to just sub them out? I think we'll sub them out. Alright, so the Stoic's got like a crazy amount of health. He can absolutely just take the L on a lot of fronts. I don't hate the growth shield right away. I do... I think if we, if we take everything, he's dying. So let's... Yeah, we'll go for a stun. Step one. Who's dying? Priestess. Okay. That works fine for me. Go for the good old cleave on these bad boys. Save everything else. Plague. We lose max HP. That's what that's going to do. Redirect all enemy damage and self-shield for one. I don't know if I want to do like a self-shield for one. I think this is fine. Meh. Save this up. Now we're going to be going for a, a larger schmack in here. If we can. We've got the growth, double damage. Yup, yup. Uh, meh. But also, maybe it's fine. Whoa, we can... No, 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 no. Let's try and get this done. Or that's, that's fine, too. Bonk. 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 We could go for the heal. We could even save the burst up this way. We're not going to lose this. It's just not happening. Anvil. <laughs> uh, gain eight rerolls in the future. Cooldown. Wrench plus one pip to the middle side. A three poison is great. Two with a copy is great. I feel like this is just... It's a good... It's good in many situations. Either one, it's going to be useful. We can all... Like, this is going to be good on anybody that we put it on. But yeah, the three poison is, frankly, a, a stupid amount. Okay, I already like that. Copy, but I just... Come on, man. Death wish is not good. I mean, I'll take a, I'll take growth. Bring it on. So this is the uh, overkill by two or more. I would like to try and get you out of the way. If I can overkill you with a big chunk, it'd be divine. It would just solve a lot. Okay, that's something. The redirect, I, I don't mind as well. You, pretty much everything else is better. Sure, that's good enough. All right, you take all of that. Grab some extra HP. I do feel like, I feel like we could be doing this way better though.
Okay, Death Wish. It's fun. Stun, we, we do still have a lot of health. We're not going to at the end of this, but that doesn't change anything about... It's not like a right now concern. Come on, give me two mana high, please. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we could stun you. Which keeps the Stoic from dying. Alternatively, we could do a prey there before we go for it. And we can stun literally anybody. You're doing a two damage cleave. I feel like I'd prefer to stun you. Okay, order of operations really matters here. Then we pray. And then we stun. I think we do want to go for you. Ay, ay, ay. If we could roll the poison, that'd be lovely, but oh well. Would have been good. At this point, I wouldn't really care. All right, um, a redirect is nice. We need to do damage, though, that's the thing. God, finally. <laughs> but still, it's like, now it's, now it's just weird. I would like mana. Okay. You read, you, you're fine. You redirect this. We could kill the troll, but it's not going to get the bandit to run away. <sighs> That's the bummer. Which kind of defeats a lot of what we were hoping to do. We might just, I think we'll just end up anvil blasting him. Because what's the other option? We, we pop the ogre, and then he does plus one pip to all of the sides, all of these. Like, then we have to... Then we have to worry. Yeah, we have to worry. This is fine. We're probably going to need to pray next turn, but... Troll's gone. We do have to, like, legitimately fight the bandit, which is not what I was hoping. Okay. Uh, four into an anvil drop, and then we figure, like, just to figure out what we're working with. Okay, yeah. I think that's, I think that's extremely acceptable. Uh, we run the risk of disaster. If we, because if we attack again here, then... It, Suddenly, the uh, priestess is going to die. So we're going to just chill a sec here. Yep, I'm aware. And we're going to need to go for, like, a big, big burst here. Uh, there was a better way to do this turn, uh, for sure. Just get a lot of mana. I mean, stunning is, is an idea. But at this point, we just need to get some burst. Okay. All right. And we'll do that with an anvil. Eccentric. Four damage to send also hits the target below. Doctor. Heal two and give them regen. Heal for two at the end of every turn. One damage to all heroes and monsters. Poisonous. Wow. Heal ten and cleanse. This is a little kooky. It's a little bit kooky, but I do kind of like it. I cannot deny. This is kooky as well. We could obviously give you the uh, the one damage schmacks. Or even the poison. Yeah, the poison. It's like, how often am I using... I'm using this sometimes, but like, should I? I'm using that I'm, I don't know. I'm using those sometimes. Let's let's do this. This is bizarre. It's, it's not going to go well, I don't think. Uh, we will give you this. I'm at a little bit of a loss. That's actually... It's a fine ordering. Uh, 
It's not my favorite, but it could be it could be worse. Trust me, <laughs> I've made it worse. <laughs> uh, we have the growth. We have a really good stun. We can heal on the first turn. It actually does something, which is fun. The growth is okay. So is the double smack. We want the alpha out of the way, right? We can do better. I don't know if we, in fact, can do better. Snake can go. Big ol' stun. It's the only one where we can actually get a healing value out. It's kind of nice. That's why the empty, uh, the empty HP is actually really, really handy. Ooh, what the hell? It's actually really, really handy. Two HP and some regen. See, here we go. This is actually... That combo is so nice that we can actually... Yoink! Take the damage. So what does this do? Two damage and self-shield. Heal to regen. That doesn't... That would give it to the target, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I what I expected. So, no, we want to go for a... You know what? Let's do it like this, since we can actually heal up the damage from it. Or... Or, no. We go for the top, since we can at least, like, we can do some anvil dropping. Gotta be a little bit worried about the wolves... I don't think they count as small. However, so there there is that that's helpful for us. Uh, at the very least, so obviously, we'll take that. Another stuff we don't really need to worry about. Come on, we can do better. Come on, we can do better. Cool. Uh, yoink. Doink. We actually can't uh, anvil drop for the kill here. All right, we have four regen per turn. I mean, the Stoic, once he's online, we can really just keep grabbing that stuff. Uh, I don't mind the mana steal. Stoic, the two damage, two damage uh, attack there is already good. Works for me. Finally. Okay. Um, we are going to need to protect you, which I think we can just do. With, like, an anvil drop. Bonk. <laughs> that is fantastic. And then we... This is the sad thing. I can't do this right. We'll die. Um, I think that's, that's just fine. Man dies by poison. So. Duck. Add echo to the two right sides. Copy the pips of the previous dice used this turn. Ooh, it's good for those. It's potentially good for those. One reroll, replace the left side with the dodge all. I don't mind replacing death wish, but I feel like it's a little bit of a waste. This feels like it could be game breaky. So obviously the first thing that comes to mind is putting it on something where there's like low values. Oh, but that's right, you have both of those. Oops. Meh. Focus times two versus if the target of the previous dice this turn. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know, man. Hydra, I die if I take damage five times in a turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Pretty peasy. And we'll always be dropping that on the Stoic so he can just completely um, steal somebody else's attack. Um, we're, we're good. Already. Oh, just absolute uh, icing on the cake. Some fights are hard and some fights are that one. Fencer. Ooh. 
two damage double. I think I might go for that. As much fun as this has been maybe like once every seven turns. <laughs> I think that the fencer sounds fun. Six damage pristine times two if I have full HP. Oh, no. So it's three. It's three damage. It's already pre-doubled. I like the fencer idea here. Curator is like the upgraded version of the collector. I mean, like, obviously, but I mean, there's kind of, you can draw a straight line between some of the upgrades. Like, this is just an improved version of this subclass, but it doesn't have to be curator offered to us, of course. I'm going to grab the fencer. It just feels very, uh, very useful. And the two damage AoEs, that's a good one. All right, the spiders. Spiders are a big concern. A big and large concern. That's incredible. What am I doing? All right. Um, you're the only one who's actually missing health right now. We do need to kill some spiders. <laughs> It's a lot of poison. We have we have a liquor though, which means we can completely cleanse all of those poisons. It's scary. Oh, it's hard to want to use the poison anywhere but the big boss because it's gonna add up to a lot over time. It's gonna add up to a lot over time. That's my reasoning. As much as it would kill a spider at the end of this turn, I think it's fine. But yeah, we're gonna want to go for uh, liquor for the big boy. Oof. Gonna need mana. Thank you. Uh, a stun is probably one of the better things you could do here. God, that's so nice. Two damage in the AoE. God, you are going for... Oh, you, you can actually stun him. That's so good. The annoying thing is kill the topmost enemy is uh, very much present there, and I hate it. Don't. We preemptively cleansed that, which is kind of a funny thing you do get to do. Um, we're going to fish for... The ability to dodge all. That's what we want to do. Because we, we're obviously fine this fight. We, we've already won. Uh, wait. If you're stunned, can you not do your passive? Please. Please tell me. That's annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. That's so annoying. Alright. Well, you might as well do your business. have some liquor all right iron blood pendant three to incoming healing and shields whoa add trio to all damage sides times three if this has the same pips as the two previous dice used this turn oh boy two is a pretty good one to do it on most of my stuff has two but Iron Blood Pendant is really interesting because we can, we can absolutely yoink all attention. The issue is we can only do it on one specific character. Um, it's really good, though. It would be for you. And it would have to be on a two. So it's twos. Twos. It's a 50-50 on almost all of my dice. That that's relevant. Or we could get a random tier eight. 
Iron bun, blood, bun, iron bun pendant is obviously good on the stoic. I'm just gonna do it. It's it's a little bit more straightforward, which I think is gonna be nice to be able to just like yoink. Uh oh, heal three to all allies. Mm. Must be removed by dice damage. Okay. I could do bop bop. I kind of like the idea of yoinking that in case we get the cleave. We're going to... Oh. If we got the cleave, we'd be really happy about that. I'm going wild. Okay. We got the cleave. I'm uh, really happy about that. Well, with a, with a little bit of an asterisk. We do get a stun the man, which is helpful. Ooh. We could kill the man, which is very helpful. No, I'll take that. So many freaking imps. The fencer is annoyingly missing HP. We could poison everybody, <laughs> which is not the worst thing to do. I'd rather get the two damage to all. Uh, do I do drop? I could do drop. No me. It's a hit on everybody. Oops, hold on. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I do want you gone. Because you are summoning yet another freaking imp. And I just... I can't have that, my friend. Yes, I would like to let the demon run away. Flee! Coward! Leader. Three damage. Target hero can use their die again. Shield to smith. Uh, we do lose that cleave. Two damage duplicate plus um, the wrench is nice. So it's three. It's just we can make it so everybody has a, a three damage attack. That's worth doing. Can trip gain a reroll. Obviously, there's nothing wrong here. We could potentially get our mana. What's the spell? One damage weaken in a cleave. That's quite good. It, it, we lose the anvil for what it's worth. Uh, I would say you are no longer a good target for Echo. In fact, I would no longer really have a good target for Echo. It would be you, I guess. Like, whatever. Um, so that's a little bit weird to think about. Do I hit a random? Sorcerer. Uh, one mana cantrip, gain a reroll. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, I mean, what's the other option? <laughs> That's actually fantastic. Uh, one damage, poison, and a cleave. Yeah, I'm I'm into that. I'm absolutely into that. You just reroll a bunch, generate a lot of free mana. Nothing wrong with that. Two poison, I do like it. Huge damage there. Love that. We gained yet another reroll too. Yet another reroll. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Alright, uh, you do this so that we can... I mean, first of all, stun there. Don't even have to worry. Who's getting that big old blast? I do kind of like the troll getting it, but... Getting you out of the way is helpful, too. Oops. Alright. Bring it. Okay, man in the middle is Doyen. 
We can stun somebody. You know that I could stun somebody. Eh, we can just dodge the sniper. Man. Thank you. Oh, we can't. We could, well, we could stun you, but we could also just kill you. I would rather stun you and poison the troll. Dodge this. Nerf this. Miasma. One damage poison cleave. Love that. Do I heal double from that, I wonder? Alright, I'm I'm liking where we're at. I just I'm gonna trust. Yep, you yoink. Probably my asthma. No me. Kind of irrelevant. Can't hit the back line. Bing bang boom. My asthma. Next. Add Fizz to the three right size. Plus one pip for each ability used this turn. Whoa, dude. Oh, God, I wish it was... Wait. That on the rerolls is hilarious. Plus one HP for every HP. Okay, now there's getting to be a point in which things are a little bit ridiculous with the Stoic, right? Um, This... This is a weird one. Plus one pip, so we can gain a lot of rerolls for every ability used, which should count the cantrips too, which is potentially going to be amazing, potentially going to be very weird. I'm going to take those for sure. We can kill a zombie in one hit. Taking that for sure, taking that for sure. Oh, does that not work, huh? That doesn't work? Really? So that doesn't count as you... These are abilities. Ding dong. That's okay. We, we'll put it on something else then. I would call these spells. Per personally, I would call these spells. But, you know, hey. Also, does this, is this one shot? That is not a one shot. Uh, this, however, is... I mean, I'd like to try and just get a burst shot off on these fools. Could go for the miasma. And by burst shot, I mean on these uh, these zombies. But hey, we'll, we'll play that game here. This is not a scary fight. So I'm going to definitely relocate. Obviously, I'm going to relocate that. It's, it's a bummer. It makes sense. But... But also, no, it doesn't. I'm kidding. Uh, uh. So who's attacking yellow, though? We gotta, we gotta keep that in mind. You. Well, that's an easy enough solve. Is it? Wait. You're gonna go to the back line. It's not an easy solve. You're gonna die, but you're gonna die next turn. Uh oh. And I didn't get any mana. So let's think about this for a second. Is there a way that I can solve whoever's killing? Does this help us save both in the middle? It's a lot. That's a lot of resources to do that, but it does mean we save everybody. It does also mean that everybody's poisoned here. Okay, you're at full health still, which is crazy. That, we have Death Wish, which is fantastic. Um, I think we want to just try and go for damage. Go wild. Okay. Thank you. Definitely not close. Barbarian... Eight damage pain. Um, 
if we put this on somebody else, then we use the pain one. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's an idea. Ten damage caused death to self. Plus one pip for each damage. I kind of want to hit like a. Let's go wild. Let's I'm feeling it. Uh, two damage rampage. Three damage self shield. Two damage rampage. Nothing. Nothing crazy there. So. one for each one use this turn feels kind of like uh god i hate that it only affects one thing that's the annoying thing right there and then who am i buffing up here god this just this just ended up being very annoying didn't it uh echo with the multi-strike is kind of nice which means we have the poison what do we put the poison on we could do it on the heal and mana it's okay. I don't know if I think that that's a great call, but knowing that this is a boss fight, it is definitely a little bit better. Poison strays to being better. We got the dragon fight again. Do we not have any more? Already like that. Uh, oh, I really like... Oh, I really like that! Okay, uh, yoink, boink, doink. Here's the thing. That's not, yeah, that's not a kill, right? No. It's hard to be mad at that, right? It's hard to be mad at that. The question is if we want to try and kill, kill the call instead here. I do not like that the fence is not at full health anymore because we obviously can't do that again uh, if the stars were to align for us. Is that the best we've got? Maybe. I feel like we could do better. I would love the AoE across the board. Uh, can't risk that anymore. That's fantastic. So this has um, bonus damage for each ability used. Gotcha, gotcha. So we're going to go for this. Order really matters here. Um, we'll use the one ability. This this copy's the one used prior. Uh oh god. I mean, we're already probably fine. If we well Well cause we, we need to kill the call, I think. I think that what we need to do is go for this. And then I think we do need to kill kill the call. Which is going to be really hard to do. I just realized. Is this one hit with the dice? No. No, it's not going to be that hard to do because we do have... Okay. You get the three. Ooh, we'd have to hit with the miasma. Missing the top, which means we can at least go for the attack across the board. God, that was a, that was a puzzle. That was a puzzle, but that puzzle just won us the fight for sure. We're, this is, I'm not concerned anymore. Could we lose somebody? Maybe. Do I care? No. Sorry, sorry to them, but there, there's definitely a chance. Okay, now we're now we're fine. We just get to stun the boss. So, off chance that we get something even better? Nope. Lol. Don't even, don't even play with me. Don't even play with me, pal. Goodbye. Hard mode victory done. Submit high score. No. <laughs> very, very cool. We got some unlocks there as well. Uh, at this point, I do kind of want to take a uh, like a, 
a question moment and say, should I go for unlock all mode on? Yes or no? Bypass unlocks? Yes, no. What do you think? Because uh, there is just truly a... Where, where is this stuff? Is it ledger unlocks? There's a staggering amount of achievements and stuff to unlock. These are all of our most recent. Unlock five heroes. We've unlocked some items. There's 113 more things to unlock. And they are wild. Undo 20 times. Complete any... Th this is just true. Thank you. Uh, hey. We did it, though. What a game. What a freaking game. All unlocks, no unlocks. What do you think? Work through it. Just go for it all. What do you think? Let me know in the form or comment down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue likes and more every single day. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you have to let me know in the form or comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.